present good morning to one and all let me introduce myself i am rajiv kumar today i am going to present a small demonstration class on the topic the structure of dna the characteristics of parents are inherited to the offsprings or their children through the hereditary material or the genetic material and two important genetic materials are dna and rna DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA is ribonucleic acid both DNA and RNA are nucleic acids yes suppose this molecule represents protein and this molecule all together represents nucleic acid that means dna or rna this whole complete is considered as protein that the individual units are amino acids similarly this unit represents this molecule represents nucleic acid and the simple units are nucleotides so we can say the protein is made up of amino acids similarly the nucleic acid is made up of nucleotides nucleotides are the monomers with which the nucleic acid is made up of now let us see what is a nucleotide nucleotide is made up of mainly three components that are a pentose sugar nitrogen base and a phosphate group nucleotide has mainly three components or we can say the complete hydrolysis of nucleotides we will get a pentose sugar nitrogen base and a phosphate group the pentose sugar that present in the nucleic acid dna or rna are mainly two that are ribose or deoxy ribose ribose is seen in rna 
the pill of sugar that present in RNA is ribose whereas the pill of sugar that present in DNA is deoxyribose. The nitrogen bases which include furin and pyrimidine bases. Furin and pyrimidine bases. Within this, furin consists of two bases that are adenine and guanine whereas pyrimidine bases are thymine cytosine and uracil And the third component is the phosphate group. In a nucleotide, we can see three components that is the pentose sugar, 5 carbon pentamines, 5, 5 carbon compound, which is a sugar ribose and deoxyribose, where ribose is present in the RNA, that is what it is called ribonucleic acid. And deoxyribose is present in the DNA. That's what it is called deoxyribonucleic acid. And the nitrogen bases are heterocyclic, nitrogen containing heterocyclic compounds that are attached to the pentose sugar, which are purine and pyrimidine. Purine are adenine and guanine, whereas pyrimidine are thymine, cytosine, and uracil, where Uracil is present in RNA. We can say this uh, nitrogen bases in DNA are adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, whereas in RNA that are adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine as we have the limitation it's a small board so I'm erasing as we are going forward okay The nucleotide, as I told that it consists of a pentose sugar, DNA is a polymer of deoxyribonucleotides where deoxyribose is the pentose sugar and this is the first carbon atom second third fourth carbon atom and fifth carbon atom and we can see that from the first carbon atom and fourth carbon atom an oxygen is bonded like this which gives a heterocyclic appearance when this nitrogen base is attached to the first prime carbon atom and now this structure is known as nucleoside 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 means appendage sugar and nitrogen base nitrogen base compulsorily attached to the first prime carbon atom through N glycosidic bond and this is known as N glycosidic bond. N 
एंड ग्लाइकोसिडिक बॉन्ड और एन ग्लाइकोसिडिक लिंगेज नाउ टू द फिफ्थ प्राइम कार्बन आइटम अ फोर्सवेट ग्रुप इज अटैचिंग then it's known as a nucleotide now this nucleoside will change into nucleotide we can say that the phosphorylated nucleoside is known as nucleotide what are nucleotides nucleotides are the monomers with which the nucleic acid forms okay dna is a long polymer of deoxy ribonucleotides i told dna is a long polymer of deoxy ribonucleotides and the length of dna can be defined as the number of nucleotides or the number of base pairs that present in it the length of dna is can be defined as the number of base pairs base pairs or number of nucleotides the number of nucleotides or base pairs is a characteristic of a particular species or an organism number of base pairs is specific to or is the characteristic of a particular organism or a species we can say for example let us see some a few examples uh sai 174 phage Sai one seventy four phage. It is a bacterial phage which has five thousand three hundred eighty six base pairs, and the lambda phage which consists of forty eight thousand five hundred two base pairs, and E. coli, Escherichia coli, which consists of four point six into ten to the power of six base pairs, and in human being, it is three point three into ten to the power of nine base pairs. That is in the haploid condition. so i told that the length of the nucleotides or the base pairs is a characteristic of an organism that is highly specific and few examples are given here that are phi psi 174 phage consists of 5386 base pairs whereas the lambda phage which consists of 48502 base pairs and e coli consists of 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 base pairs and human beings has 3.3 into 10 to the power of 9 base pairs okay
DNA was discovered by Frederick Miescher. Frederick Miescher. In 1869, he discovered DNA. DNA discovered by Frederick Miescher in 1869, and this DNA was found in the nucleus as an acidic substance. called this acidic substance as nuclein. DNA was discovered by Frederick Miescher and he discovered is in the nucleus as an acidic substance which he called as nuclein. Now let us see nucleotides this is the nitrogen base for example adenine and phosphate group is attached to the fifth prime carbon atom so this is a nucleotide if another nucleotide It combines okay let us consider this as nucleotide polynucleotide chain polynucleotide chain where the first nucleotide is combined with the second nucleotide in the third prime and fifth prime carbon atoms of this nucleotides this nucleotide from this third prime carbon atom and from this nucleotide from the fifth prime carbon atom a phosphor diester bond is formed and dinucleotide is formed like that so many nucleotides are combined together by phosphor diester bond or phosphor diester linkage Phosphodiester bond or phosphodiester linkage. Now, this polynucleotide chain at one of its end there is a free phosphate group we can see, and this phosphate group is attached to the fifth prime carbon atom of this pentose sugar. Therefore, it is known as the 5 prime end or 5 dash end. On the other hand, the other end we can see a free OH group and this OH group is attached to the third prime carbon atom 1 2 3 so it is known as the 3 prime end so we can see end of a polynucleotide chain with free OH group is known as 3 prime end and end of a polynucleotide chain with free phosphate group is known as 5 prime end
The backbone of polynucleotide chain is sugar and phosphate moiety, whereas nitrogen bases are attached to the backbone uh, towards the inner side. And DNA structure was proposed by, let us see, uh, look into the DNA structure. DNA structure was proposed by James Watson and Francis Crick. DNA structure proposed by James Watson and Francis Crick. It was based on the data, X-ray diffraction data given by Morris Wilkins. Based on X-ray diffraction data given by Morris Wilkins. and Rosalind Franklin The structure of DNA was proposed by James Watson and Francis Crick based on the X-ray diffraction data given by Morris Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin According to Watson and Crick, DNA is a double-stranded helical structure. 